Welcome to Deadly Dames and this is just the last video for July. Um, I was spoilt rotten, as I said it was my birthday this week so a lot of the stuff that's on this video is actually gifts to myself from my partner and my sister. Um, I've already shown you in a previous video what my mum got me which was the Deliverance and the Your Next Steel books which I love. Uh, most of this stuff on here has actually just been pickups that we've got so um, <laughs> I've been on annual leave and you know what it's like, you spend more money when you're on annual leave so in front of you you can see the neon demon vinyl, I couldn't resist this um, I actually had to travel quite a bit to see this movie in the cinema because not all cinemas were playing it and it was definitely worth it, I think um, now I'm going to probably butcher this guy's name to say but Nicholas Winding Refn, I'm not sure he's pronounced the last but I really like what he's doing. I like every single film that I've seen of his so far, from Bronson to, to this, but Drive's probably my favourite, but I really did enjoy Neon Demon. And I think that Cliff Martinez um, is probably one of the best sort of movie composers just now. And I absolutely love what he's doing. So I had to pick up this vinyl when I seen it. Had to get it. The variation I got was the blue and red double disc, so really glad to get that. Um, that's the only vinyl that I picked up, but I just couldn't resist it. To be honest, I would have got these other two soundtracks on vinyl had they been there, but they weren't. But I just really had to get them, and that is High Rise. So I just got the CD of it. If I see the vinyl, I will pick it up. Um, Clint Mansell, my other favourite composer for movies. I think this guy's also fantastic. Um, the music that he's producing for every single film as well. Just phenomenal for Moon. Requiem for a Dream is my all-time favourite movie soundtrack, but I love the high-rise one. The only thing I would like to say is I love the score by Clint Mansell, but I would actually like to get a CD which has got the songs from the movie in it as well, because now I'm not a fan of ABBA at all, but there's a song in this particular like film that it's a variation of an ABBA song, and it's just... I don't know if it's just the scene that it's in, but it's phenomenal, and if you haven't seen this film, go and buy it now, it is amazing, um, High Rise totally blew me away, and again, I actually had to travel to a different cinema to see this, because it wasn't playing in all the local cinemas, and the last soundtrack I got, again, again got it on CD, probably would have got it on vinyl had it been there, but it wasn't there, so I just picked up on CD, and that was Under the Skin, I personally think Under the Skin's an underrated movie, I really liked it, I thought... Don't get me wrong, it's one of those movies that if it wasn't for the soundtrack, it would have been a completely different film. But I actually really liked it, it left a lot up to your own imagination and I, I genuinely did enjoy it. Because you, you kind of got to make up yourself a lot of what was going on. But that's everything for soundtracks today. Uh, on top of that, I did actually get some t-shirts as well. The reason why I'm going to show you this, and I've said in previous videos that... Being a woman, liking the genre that I like, it is very, very difficult to find any sort of t-shirts, bags, anything like that, that are meant for women. Because they just assume that women like Wonder Woman, or Supergirl, or Harry Potter. We don't like horror films because that's not sexist at all. But uh, I did find a couple of really cool t-shirts that actually do fit women. Now, they are guys' t-shirts, but as I said, they do fit women. So I got this one from FOP in Glasgow. Hopefully you can see it. And it's Scars of Dracula. Um, £10 from Folk. It is, I, I got a medium. I have quite reasonably big boobs. So I usually have to go a size bigger. But I'm um, glad that it does fit women. And then if you're on a, on a budget and you don't want to spend that much money. Um, there's actually some decent t-shirts just now in Primark. So if you're a fan of Walking Dead like I am. I got this one, now the, the, again this is the guys, but they actually do small and extra small, so I went for small, again, got to have some room for my boobs, um, but I really like The Walking Dead, I really like this t-shirt, I got two of The Walking Dead ones, uh, here's the other one, the classic uh, dead inside, don't open, so again £6 each, I think that's a really good price, considering that I got this one, again, they do small and extra small, so they can fit into a ver varied size of women. Uh, this one here was six pounds from Primark, in the exact same make. I mean, I'm right down to the what's on the tag, so you can see it here. The exact same make is in game for fifteen pounds. So, if you're looking to get yourself some horror themed 
t-shirts at a decent price get into Primark just now because all of them are there. So we'll just move on to the movies. So to start with I've just got some regular DVDs. This is my birthday gift from my sister, the boy. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I went to the cinema thinking it was going to be a pile of crap because the advert is full of jump scares, but it kind of tricked you a little bit. It put those jump scares in there so that you think it was going to be a crap film. Uh, I liked to twist. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I actually really did enjoy it. So I was glad my sister got me the boy on Blu-ray. And then I've been doing a lot of clear out, clearing out because of the cinema and annual leave. Went through my massive pile of DVDs and sort of just sorted out which ones I've already got on Blu-ray, which ones I've got better editions of, and which ones, to be honest, I'm never going to watch again. And I basically traded them all into Computer Exchange, got a voucher, and treated myself to a couple of new films. Um, a lot of these are actually upgrades, but I got Weird Science, the 30th anniversary edition. To be honest, the only other um, John Hughes movie I'm going to pick up is probably The Breakfast Club. Not too fussed about 16 Candles or anything like that, but I do like Weird Science and I do like Breakfast Club, so I probably will pick up um, Breakfast Club at some stage. And then I got, I've got a Haddison CD, eh, sorry, not CD, and DVD. Uh, this is just an upgrade, couldn't get the stupid sticker off them. I don't know why they put stickers like that on, but play Misty for me. If you are a fan of movies like Fatal Attraction or Single White Female, you will love this movie. This is actually, in my opinion, a better movie. Uh, Play Misty for me is a fantastic film, so I've got that one with my voucher. And I also got this one with the voucher, which is a, a classic Tango and Cash. To be fair, I really love Kurt Russell, and I've been thinking of this movie for a long, long time because I didn't own it previously, and I kept thinking I need to get Tango and Cash, so what better excuse than I had a voucher? And then the last thing that I actually got with my voucher was a steelbook and it's one of my favourite cartoons well that's not Disney and that's How to Train Your Dragon so when I seen that there was a steelbook in there I just decided to pick it up so that's everything there um, a couple of ones that I bought online from the entertainment store though, they were actually advertised as steelbooks now they're not steelbooks but they are metal, they're weird, I've never seen anything like it, they're the Deluxe Diamond Edition, so I got Gremlins, and it's weird because I'll open it up so you can see they're shiny. I don't know if anyone else has got any of these, but they're £5.99 just now from, from the entertainment store on eBay. So if you just go into eBay, type in the entertainment store, and it'll take you to certain movies on there, for example, like I bought the, was it True Romance, and... It was another one, but they look them up at five ninety nine. Click in there, and then it will say seller. Go click on entertainment store, and it'll take you to everything you can get. The only two that I've got on there that says the diamond deluxe editions are the two that I bought. And as I said they are on there as steelbooks. I, they are they are metal. I mean they're magnetic as well, which is strange, but they are really really pretty. So there's Gizmo, the stripe. There's the two discs in the middle there, but it actually pulls up like so. So you can see the two there, and then that magnetically sticks together here. I don't know if you can see that. Sticks together there. It's weird, uh, and it's shiny. I know you can't really see it on this, but it's a, in a really skinny, really strange edition. Really like it, so I'm still glad that I got them. Uh, and then the other one I got was the Green Mile. Again, doesn't do it justice in this light, but magnetic again. Opens up. It opens up again to the two discs inside. Again, this one was only five ninety nine as well, so I'm glad I picked them up because they're actually like when you type them in online, not through the entertainment store, they're they're like twenty four, twenty five pounds. So I think I got them at a good price. And then we'll just go into a couple of random pickups that I got. So I ordered. From Zavi because it's down in price just now. It's only eight ninety nine, and that's the Steelbook of Poltergeist. I'm not the biggest ghost movie fan, but there's something special about Poltergeist. It's for it has always been a movie that I've loved, so I just had to pick up the Steelbook of it, and it's really really pretty. And then I also got this is why I went into Glasgow today was to pick up a couple of pre-orders. So I got Attack on Titan Part Two. So this is a movie. Obviously, you've seen Part One in a previous video. And I got 
and I pre-ordered this one as well, which is a 10 Cloverfield Lane. This is embossed here, um, really nice. It's a simple case, but there's something nice about it, which is quite funny because i just seen the Steelbook release for High Rise, and it's actually incredibly similar to this. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it, but I do like it as well, so that's why I went into Glasgow today was to pick up these and ended up spending a fortune. But I uh, also got this today. I actually really like this movie. It's £10 just now in FOP on Steelbook. It's Dead Man. It's back when I fought Jenny Do uh, J J I don't even know what I'm saying. Johnny Depp was um, a leading actor to me. I'm not. I think he's kind of lost his way a little bit, but back in these days, he was phenomenal. And then my birthday gifts. So my partner got me Ghostbusters. So you can see the steel book for Ghostbusters one. They actually open up. Let me see if I can do it. And you can see it fully. Uh, my partner also got me, you know what's coming, Ghostbusters 2 steelbook. So I absolutely love the Ghostbusters franchise. And I know that you know, the new Ghostbuster movie's been getting a, a hard time. Personally, I actually really enjoyed it. I don't really think you could have done a Ghostbusters thingy. You would have spent half the movie trying to answer the question about what happened to the original Ghostbusters. So, and, and humour changes. I, I didn't think it was a bad film. Obviously, there was some predictable comedy in it. And I didn't really like the Kevin character. But overall, I actually didn't think it was a bad movie. Probably going to get hated for that. But I didn't think it was a bad film. It's definitely not as good as the originals. But... Uh, this is my other gift from my partner, so as I said previously I've been trying to get all of the, the Arrow Steelbooks and these are some of the ones that I didn't have. I don't know where my partner got this one but I'm so glad. And then this one here as well, which I know my partner got for an absolute steal because this usually goes online. It's well out of print, but it usually goes online, you can see, for 50 to £100. Pounds. And my partner got it for 25 which I think is an amazing price. Made her tell me. I wanted to know. I also picked up today Saga Volume 6. I love this series. If you haven't read it, get a copy. It is really, really good. And then we had to pick up this as well. Never even knew this existed, but big Resident Evil fans. So when we seen this, I thought I have to get it. And then other than that, the only other things we picked up was a couple of so a cheap games, um, is, I think they were actually on our voucher, or well, they may have just been, in fact they weren't, they were from Game, Game's got a big sale on just now and a lot of the games are actually down to 99 pence so couldn't resist picking up some but I've played this before, got rid of it and then figured for 99 pence I'd try it again, so Dead Island, I also got Dead Island Riptide, never played this one but figured for, I think this was 1.99 I'd give it a go. And then Steelbook Lost Planet, 99 pence. Again, for that, I thought, why not? And you don't often see it with the slip. Usually the slip's missing, and usually the game's in a really bad state. So for 99 pence in a decent condition, I figured, why not? It also got Lost Planet 2. Again, for 99 pence, had to give it a go. And the last one that I got, I actually already have this, but not for PlayStation 3, I think it's Xbox. And I figured if I've got Dark Souls 2 and 3 on PlayStation 4, I might as well get Dark Souls on PlayStation 3. So that was everything that I bought. I also pre-ordered a couple of things today, which I'm really excited about. So I pre-ordered for my partner's Christmas, the tiny little Nintendos that are coming out. And I'll show you that in a video when we get it. They're tiny, they've got inbuilt games on them as well. They're really cute, can't wait to get it. And I pre-ordered for my partner's birthday, the Bioshock steelbook trilogy so i think that was going to make someone very happy so yeah i was a very spoiled spoiled person for my birthday this year and getting i don't mind us getting older if i get more stuff and um that's everything that i've gone crazy and spent on over the last couple of days i think going back to work will save me some cash but um thank you for watching any questions any comments please leave them below and uh, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching, take care.